Hey guys, my name is Giuna, and I'm the Levi's Master Tailor for New York. I work in the Levi's Tailor Shop, and I oversee the Lot 1 program. So today I'm going to show you how to fix your jeans using a technique called sashiko. Sashiko is a traditional form of Japanese embroidery. One of the great things about this project is that it requires very little materials. The very basics are a needle, thread, and ideally a cutting instrument. Our project is mending this hole. Now I'm going to do that by first of all, backing the hole with a piece of denim, and then I'm going to sew that piece of denim on and reinforce this whole area using our sashiko embroidery technique. So the first thing I want to do is figure out how big is my reinforcement going to be. So I'm going to measure this area and I, I want it to extend at least one inch above and below the actual hole. So I think a four by four piece of denim would cover that. So my first step is going to be to cut a scrap piece of denim to back that with. So at this point, I have turned my jean inside out, covered the hole with a patch, and now I want to secure the patch in place before I turn it back inside out and do the actual embroidery. One quick, easy way of doing that is pinning the four corners. So at this point, we're ready to start embroidering. Now, what I'm going to do is give myself some guidelines for this project. I am doing a crosshatch pattern, um, or you can just wing it and just do it by eye and by hand. Do I see it? There is no wrong way to do it. So now that I have my guidelines, I am going to start sewing. So even though I'm doing a crosshatch, um, I'm going to do a, I'm going to use a running stitch. So what I'm going to do is do all of the vertical stitching first. And then once the vertical stitching has been done, I'm going to go back over this and repeat um, with the horizontal lines. And that's what's going to give us the crosshatch look. Treating this like my last stitch in the end of the project. It goes in, flip the garment inside out. In this case, just flip my scrap over. Go back in through the same hole as your last stitch. That's what gives us that back stitch and it's gonna lock us in. That's locked in, it's nice and secured. Gonna go to the back and Trim this off. And there you have it. That is how I like to finish my sashiko embroidery. So mission accomplished and how cool is that? I have fixed my favorite jean. I've added a super cool, super personalized detail. And I have expanded the lifespan of a garment and it doesn't get much more sustainable than that.